Hello everybody and welcome to technology layer. In this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to install and configure your SQL developer in order to connect it to your Oracle database. So before installing the SQL developer you need to have a Java development kit that is the JDK installed on your system. So this is the link from where you can download JDK and here you can download the executable just download the executable double click it and follow the on-screen instructions to install the JDK. I have already installed the JDK so the next step is you need to have the download file that is the zip file for the windows installation for the SQL developer this is the link from where you can download I'll place this link in the description of the video so just go and download this I have already downloaded this so once you have downloaded you will get a compressed zip file just right click on it and click on extract here so you will get a folder after you have extracted just double click the folder and open it and go to SQL developer executable that is the application and double click on it to start the SQL developer now here what you need to do is you need to give the path of your Java development kit so go to the path where you have installed the Java so this is JDK I'll select this folder and click on OK Ignore this warning and click yes. So we'll wait till, till it skip this. Click on yes. We'll wait till our uh, SQL developer is initialized. Click on no. So once your Oracle SQL developer is started, you'll get a home page where you will find the documentation, you'll find the uh, Oracle SQL developer technology network, that is the forum, you'll have access to the online tutorials. In the left hand side, you'll, you'll find this connections. So this is from where you can add and connection to your Oracle database. So just click on this new connection. Type in a desired connection name. I'll give it as test db. Type in the username and the password which you have given uh, during the time of your database creation. Select the installation the connection type as basic. Uh, you are having different connection type: the TNS, the LDAP. If you select TNS, you need to have an SQL client. Uh, sorry, the Oracle client installed on your system. And select the role. I'm. I'll select the role as sysdba. I'll log in from the system as a sysdba, and the host name as the. If you are running Oracle database on your local machine, you should leave this as it is. But I'm having it remotely, so I'll, I'll type in the IP address and the SID. The port number is 1521. That is the default listening port for the Oracle, and the the SID. The SID is uh, the thing which you give while you are configuring a database so the identifier for my installation is ORCL you can give uh, the SID of or uh, SID which you have configured don't give it ORCL or give it the SID which you have configured now here you can also save the password it will save it in a next time if you connect it it will not prompt you for a password and the next step is just go and test the connection so if you test the connection you can see it's a success here this means that the all the credentials are correct just save this connection and click on connect so once you click connect you can see a window for the uh, test db is open and here you can see your database is populated all the tables and all the indexes the triggers everything you can see all these things are present from the test DB. In this way, you configure and connect your Oracle database remotely from a Windows machine. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. 
please don't forget to subscribe my channel for the latest tips and tutorials on Oracle, Linux, Android and Telecom. Once again, thanks for watching.